It's almost back to school time for students here on the Central Coast and for many teachers it means it's time to dig into their pockets once again to buy school supplies. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amanda Gomez. I'm Spencer Washburn. Each year they spend a few hundred dollars if not a thousand before even meeting their students. KION's Linda Zhang joining us now with more. Linda? Well, the schools do provide basic supplies, but for many teachers I spoke with, they say they run out, and sometimes it takes a while to stock up. So they're taking it into their own hands to avoid the lag and to make sure that kids have more than just basic pens and pencils. Well, I think it's just overwhelming because having to buy a lot of things that I don't know what to buy. No, this is not a young woman taking advantage of a home goods sale. Summer breaks are wrapping up and Mira Mejia is about to start her first year teaching third grade. But before giving the first lesson, she's getting one. Right now my class looks like, whoa! I thought that the school would provide for everything that uh, you need for the classroom. But then I started noticing that if I really want to be the best teacher that I possibly can, I have to have the resources. The Monterey County Office of Education says schools do provide basic supplies. But without the magic touch of a teacher, a classroom would just look like this. You would see the great walls ready with nothing on them. You would see the cabinets um, with again nothing on them. You wouldn't see carpets. You wouldn't see any other seating other than the typical desks and chairs. From this navy carpet to the stack of funky stools, the things that bring this classroom to life came out of Pamela Connor's pocket. And dozens of teachers like her are doing the same. So far, my guess is probably about $300. It's right here. Welcome. On a typical year, I, I go anywhere between five and 700. Many of them say this is to make sure all their kids feel equal. Our parents are mostly parents that work out in the, in the, you know, the ag fields. So they have to think, well, do I spend this much on school supplies and field trips, or do I spend this much on, on food? And we get that, and that's why it hurts the pocket a little bit, but we absorb the cost. And do you take American Express? Oh, absolutely. Is it fair? I, I'm just going to answer bluntly to that, no. I feel that education is underfunded. And wherever there's a money gap, these teachers fill them up. I think that in the heart of a teacher is a person who's always going to want to give to their kids. These two years. The Monterey County Office of Education says the public can help by making a donation to organizations like Adopt a Classroom or work with the school directly. Back to you.